Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another tutorial here today on the Jay Hebert Sign 95 channel. This is going to be a little different, because this is going to be a YouTube tutorial about how to do end screens in 2022. Or rather, a more efficient way to do end screens in 2022, in a quick and easy fashion for multiple different types of videos, if you run a series like I do, or multiple series like I do. Um, I have an example that we're going to be using here. Hopefully it's finished rendering by the time I go on it. So, let's take a look at the end screen, right? So, the original end screen that I made was for a show called Live Rounds, and I wanted them to, you know, have a professional feel to it now that, you know, Doug is doing weekly videos on his channel, along with Fightful Steven Jensen. So... Thank you I for tuning this in out? to Live or Rounds. Intro, rather. Make sure you leave a like, outro, leave a comment, and called. donate to Steven Jensen. He will read out your donations on the next week's show. Also, don't forget to follow Doug Bateman and Steven Jensen on Twitter. And if you like what you heard tonight, check out more Live Rounds episodes. So, I'm not a fan of the outro itself, mainly because... I updated all of this stuff, and even before I updated this stuff, I had this damn white line that pissed me off, uh, because paint can be a bitch to use sometimes, so uh, I decided to create a new one. Okay, so there's the end screen, right? So here's one, here's another. Another thing I didn't like about the end screen was that these weren't really evenly lined up for the videos to fit, so... I created a new end screen. Now, I'm going to show you a quick little thing about end screens. So this is the new one, right? And I want to fix this up a little bit. So, we're going to import from video. And I have two versions of this outro. We're going to go with the most updated version, right? And we're just going to adjust how we like. This is the tedious part about being a YouTuber, pretty much, of any kind. Content creator, uh, or content creator just doing YouTube as a means to create content. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that this is all set. Yep. Okay, perfect. It's not perfect, perfect, but... It's better than a, it wasn't centered before, so I like that. Cool. So now, as you can see, there's two videos, right? If I want a video specifically on YouTube, you can search up any video on YouTube. Live rounds 40, 41. Was the, was the recent... Okay, no. So live rounds 42 was the recent one that just happened, right? I'm going to click that. On the left side, I'm going to click 41. Live rounds. 41. Now, you can actually copy and paste the video URL, and then it will take you directly to the video. Um, but typically, um, you could just search it up, and hopefully it will pop up. But if you absolutely need to, go find the video, and then copy and paste the link, and it will take you right to the specific video you're looking for. So, I'm just going to extend this, right? Extend this all the way to the end because this is an extended uh, version of the intro for their live round stuff um, because StreamYard's a bit weird, right? So we're going to save the changes. One thing I'm going to splice in here so that way people understand uh, you need to make sure to drag to the point where your end screen shows up in the end screen. You don't want to go too far or too short uh, if you can help it. It's usually really, really good to have um, the end screen right there, uh, right when it pops up. And main reason for this is to make sure it boosts your algorithm. That's the best way you can do that. Now, going forward with end screens, you notice that in elements, or, right, 
if you go on to a different video, I'll discard changes because we don't need to make any changes. Um, like, we'll, we'll just use this as an example because this is just a preview video for my podcast. You'll notice import from latest video. That's the thing you want to select every single time. And going from here, you're going to want to just leave everything as is when it comes to shaping. And then just search the video that you want it to be. So, that's how you can properly do end screens in a very efficient and time-saving way. Right, I'm going to discard changes. One last thing I forgot to do, uh, to show you guys real quick. Uh, just so it's not totally, like, just basically for one purpose. If you go to import video, and select a video from your video selection, for example... Because you may have different fitting end screens for whatever video you are producing. Um, you could easily just go to that video. Um, and then you're all set, pretty much. Uh, I just wanted to show that so that way people weren't completely confused. So there you go. And now we're going to take a look at the preview and see if the end screen worked. Thank you for tuning in to Live Rounds. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and donate to Steven Jensen. He will read out your donations on the next week's show. Also, don't forget to follow Doug Bateman and Steven Jensen on Twitter. And if you like what you heard tonight, check out more Live Rounds episodes. Much better. Look at that. Yeah. That's fucking... Stellar. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. So there you go. End screen complete. And that's how you are able to do end screens in a very efficient way. If you are a weekly content creator or even in some cases a daily content creator. I hope this was helpful for everybody here that is trying to help out on YouTube or start out on YouTube. And until next time, we will see you on the next tutorial. Peace out, everyone.